Hi YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday to each and every one of you. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for lentils, rice, some chow rai bhaji cooked in coconut milk and some oven roasted chicken. Wow, that sounds like a Friday night dinner. So if you want to see how I'm making all this, stick around and let me show you how I do this. So first of all, I measure my lentils and I like to pour it out on a flat surface and check to see if there is any little pebbles, mud, bricks or anything that's not palatable. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go through my lentils and make sure that it's nice and clean for eating before I wash it and start the cooking process. Lentils comes in different colors. There is a large variety of lentils. It is very, very rich in iron, protein, zinc, copper, and so much more. It is very good to consume with no fat at all. So I have here all my ingredients for the lentils rice, and I'm using fresh ingredients today because fresh always bring out the best. So I nicely wash the lentils. I wash my rice. I have some black pepper, salt, and here I have some ingredients that I'm gonna be adding. And this yellow hot pepper I picked from my garden, I'm just gonna cut open and smell it. Mmm, now they don't go too close. Hot, right? It smells so hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a, about three pieces, which is like a little bit more, like quarter of the pepper. It smells very it flavorful. It kind of smells like a bell pepper, but like with spice. Mm -hmm. with yes, that's a good way of, of explaining it, Nali. So what we're gonna do in the pot, we have about a tablespoon and a half of oil. I'm gonna go in with my onions. And you can cook this meal in a regular pot, but today I'm gonna hurry it up and use my pressure cooker so that it can be done in less time and I have enough time to prepare my kalaloo and coconut milk and my roasted chicken. So we're gonna fry the onion about a minute and a half or so before we add the next ingredients into the pot. So now that my onion has been cooking up for a bit, we're gonna add the lentils. And I'm using my measuring cup because I would like to add the right amount of water into the pressure cooker. So I'm measuring everything that I'm adding into the pot. I'm going to go in with my rice now that the rice is washed. So we're going to mix our lentils, onion and rice together. It's looking good. And like Natalie just mentioned, it smells nice. I'm going to go in with my black pepper. And you want to go in with a nice amount to give our rice and lentils a beautiful flavor. I'm going to go in with some salt. We're gonna add our thyme. And this rice can go with any side dish. I just like to fry it up a little. You can always add everything at once and then add your water and cook it just like that. But I find when you fry it up a little, it opens up more flavor. So now I'm going to go in with my green onion. And for every cup of rice and lentils, I'm going to add 
one and a half cup of water. So now that I add all my ingredients into the pot, I'm gonna start pressuring the rice and the lentils. And at the end of it, I'm gonna add the pepper just in case if it's too hot, then the kids won't have to worry about that. About 10 to 12 minutes, I'll pressure the rice and it should be ready. Next, we're gonna start preparing our chicken and I'm gonna use some fresh ingredients from my garden. Starting with some green onions, some broadleaf thyme, I'm gonna use a piece of that hot pepper. The flavor and the aroma in this kitchen is so, so nice and very inviting. I have some fine thyme, I'm gonna add some rosemary, I'm gonna add some basil, and some garlic and some fresh oregano. Right here, all this freshness would turn my chicken into a delicious, succulent, amazing chicken flavor. So let me put everything into my blender and then I'll come back and season the chicken. So for the chicken, I just wash them nicely. I'm using chicken thighs and trim them up. I wash them half of a lime. I'm gonna remove my lime. And I'm gonna go in with my salt now, enough to taste. I'll go in with some freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna go in with that goodness that I just blended up. About three tablespoon is good enough because everything is fresh and I will go in with my hands. I'm gonna cook this in a 350 degree oven. I will brush them with some barbecue sauce at the end to add some extra flavor. I like to cook chicken in the oven with the skin and the bone because it locks in all the beautiful flavor and you get a nice juicy finish at the end. So I'm gonna add this baking basket into the baking dish. When the chicken is cooking, it's not gonna be sitting in the fat or oil that, that comes out. And in that way, we're gonna have a fat-free chicken. Look at the ingredients on this chicken and the smell of the rosemary and that oregano and thyme and garlic. Mm -mm -mm, I can't wait to bite into these chicken. So while my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna start working on my Kalaloo or my Jamaican bhaji, chow rai bhaji as we say in Guyana. And I like to cook mine with coconut milk, so I just grated half of a coconut. I'm gonna squeeze out all the milk into some water, and this is what I'm gonna use to add to my chow rai bhaji. So my lentils is done. Look how beautiful, nice, and fluffy it is. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna add that pepper back onto the top. And this is only for the adults because I believe it is very, very hot. One dish down, two more to go. My chicken is cooking up nicely and I'm just gonna brush it with some barbecue sauce. This will give it a nice flavor and also help to keep it moist. I'm gonna flip the chicken on the other side and do the same just have a little bit more to go before they are fully cooked. So the freshly picked chow rai bhaji from my garden, I nicely wash and finely chop them. I have here some basic ingredients, garlic, green onion, regular onion, and a little piece of the hot pepper. And I'm gonna add some coconut milk because this will make the Chow rai bhaji or Jamaican kalu, really nice and soft and tender and creamy. So let's head on to the stove and prepare our chow rai bhaji. In the pan with a little bit of oil, I added my onion. I saute the onion for about two minutes. I'm gonna go in now 
now with my pepper and I'm really trying to control the heat so I'm adding just a little bit the garlic and spinach is easy on its own with just a little bit of garlic and some onion you don't need much for this we're gonna let all those flavors open up and the aroma and then we will go in now with our finely chopped spinach or chowrai bhaji or Jamaican kalaloo spinach is one of my favorite vegetables I have many because of its rich iron content and so much nutrients from this one vegetable so just a little pinch of salt on the top that will help the bhaji to reduce a little and then i'll be able to give it a nice mix with all the ingredients that we just added so now it's reducing a little and we can mix it up I'm gonna let it cook some more before I add my coconut milk. Our bhaji has been cooking down a little. We're gonna add our coconut milk and I like when the bhaji is nice and soft. So I'm going in here with two cups of coconut milk plus water. I'm gonna cover this down and let it cook on medium to low heat until all this water is evaporated so everything is done and ready to be served i'm gonna get a taste tester in the meantime i'm gonna dish out for jessica because she's gonna be my taste tester today so look at my rice how beautiful and nice it is done my lentil rice and this can go with any side dish i'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of green onions and I'm going to add some spinach on the side to her dish. Look at this. Fresh from the garden. And I'm going to give her a piece of chicken. And there's nothing that makes me more happier to serve my kids a fresh meal, especially with fresh ingredients. So lettuce is from my garden, spinach is from my garden. Most of the ingredients that I use today is from the garden. And I'm gonna add some shredded cucumber from my garden on the side. And we're gonna go in with some avocado right beside that. And this is what our Friday dinner looks like. Let me know what you had for dinner today. Happy, happy birthday greetings going out to my one and only handsome and smart nephew. Birthday greetings are coming from your mom and dad, two loving sisters, from Auntie Dato and family, from me and my family and the YouTube family, from Grandma, Grandpa and Auntie Sirika and her family. Love you. So the lovely Jessie will be doing the taste test for us. So Jessie, go in for anything that you wish for on the plate, but you have to taste everything eventually, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go in for the rice and the spinach. Okay, the rice that would have been delicious. my first pick, yes. Okay, so let me take some rice, you guys, and some spinach. See how loopsy that rice is? I'm gonna mix the spinach with the rice. Okay, let's go for the mouthful. Mm-hmm. Are you tasting for the viewers too? Mm, that's super good. I think the spinach has a little bit spice. It's so good. That you taste spicy? I put the new hot pepper from the garden. Oh, it, it tasted so good. Yeah. And the rice is super good. I love the rice, you guys. So that's the lentils, rice, and Jessie like it. I'm going to try the chicken now, you guys. Okay, so. That looks delicious. The chicken is nice. Is and it barbecue flavor? Yes, I put barbecue in it. Okay. You can go in with your fingers oh. if you like. It's falling apart. Look at that. Look at that. Take guys. a big bite. Which? Okay. Mmm. 
Yummy, yummy. Let me see. Wow, perfectly done. Well, how is it? Okay, guys, that chicken was super good. I can taste all the flavors from the barbecue sauce. It's super good. You did a good job on the chicken and the rice and the spinach. Okay. Let's and try the little salad that we have here. Mm -hmm. And you have to eat your lettuce leaf as well, okay? Okay. Maybe I should wrap it up. Okay, look at this, guys. Mm -hmm. They look like noodles. Yeah. Okay. We made the shredded cucumber, and I put some pepper in that, too. Yeah, it's so spicy. But it's super good, you guys. Everything tied in well? I love the cucumber. It was so nice and spicy. Good for that rice. Yeah, let's try some of the avocado because I need a something to, to yeah. just put the pepper. Yeah. So overall. Super good. Which meal is the best. I would eat this every day. Yeah? Yeah, let me try some of the lettuce from your garden. Can't get fresher than this, you guys. Yeah, lettuce from the garden. I can hear crunchiness in there. It goes well with the salad. It's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. So, guys, if you like this recipe, leave a thumbs up. And make sure to try this recipe. It's super good. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye. And this is another way of eating your chow rai bhaji or your spinach. You can have it on any side dish and enjoy it as well. Until then, we have more vegetable to share. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.